Breaking news, guys, this just in. Creed has been sold again. Does that rhyme? Breaking news, guys, this just in. Creed has been sold again. It does. <laughs> I, listen, I have mixed emotions about this because I'll tell you about it. I'm not going to get into it right now being this close, but let's talk about it. All right, Creed, it's been sold again to another company. This happened recently. So I want to talk about the brand of Creed brief, briefly versus kind of the brand of Armoff because, you know, they do. They clone Creed's fragrances. I got some thoughts. Let's, I want to share them with you guys. I just need to talk. All right? Let's, let's talk. What's going on, YouTube? I'm Darren, the bow tie fragrance guy. All right, on this channel, guys, I talk about fashion and fragrance as well. So if you're into fashion and fragrance, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the bell icon as well, so that way when I upload a new video, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. All right, guys, so, so I've already spilled the beans, man. Creed has been sold again. Uh, this time they were purchased by a company called Caring, which is like a multinational uh, company that special, specializes in luxury goods. I think they uh, also own uh, Gucci... Uh, Bottega Veneta. So there's a lot of very big name um, fashion luxury brands that they actually own and now they have acquired Creed. If you guys remember, I want to say it was 2020, Creed was purchased by BlackRock Incorporated, I think. And now it's been sold again to uh, Carrie. So I don't know, man, what does that mean for the brand? I kind of want to get into that and um, just kind of talking about how, how I compare Creed fragrances now versus the clones and the clone brand, of course, Armoff, because to me, Armoff probably overall has done the best job at kind of replicating the Creed fragrance DNAs. So I just got some stuff I want to talk about really quick. So I'm going to run the intro and when we come back, we'll get into it. So if you want to hear my thoughts, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump into this video really quickly because this is a fashion and fragrance related channel. On the fashion side, real quick, I have a video that I'm coming out with, guys, um, about a company called Collars & Co., which I think is short for Collars & Company, but Collars & Co. is a company uh, that makes really, I would say, luxury but at the same time comfortable men's clothing and the shirt i am rocking today is one from Kyle's and company and i must say guys i absolutely love the fit of this shirt all right this is a large and you guys know or if you don't know i work out so i love the way that this shirt is really you know fitting your boy all right this shirt is perfect i got a video where i'm going to talk about uh the products that i actually received from uh Kyle's and co uh, so that way you guys can see how I rock, you know, what I receive. But man, you guys have a discount code, which is Bowtie Fragrance 15. You can get 15% off anything on the website. This video is not exactly about that, but because I'm rocking the shirt, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys about that. I honestly don't know if that video will come up before this one, but if it does, just excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, all right? But this shirt, man, listen, guys, I love the way this thing is fitting. It is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect fit, man. Stretchy material, quality Moreno wool shirt. Anyway, this is a nice shirt. Kyle's & Co. I'll link it down below. There's another rhyme. Kyle's & Co. I'll link it down below. Listen, I'm going to get me a rap album, all right? <laughs> it's coming soon, man. A rap album. Yeah, right. So, guys, the brand of Creed. I have so much passion for this brand because when I really started collecting fragrances, Creed was the first niche brand that I really delve into and i would say i kind of completed my collection all right creed was the first niche brand that i felt like i completed my collection i got all the fragrances from the brand uh, that i wanted i've done countless videos on the channel about the brand I've never been sent one bottle of creed you know all purchased with my own hard-earned money so again i really have a passion and a special place in my heart for creed fragrances so 
I want to say around 2019, if I'm not mistaken, the date could be wrong, the year could be wrong. I'm just guesstimating here, all right? The brand was purchased, um, well, not, not then, the brand was purchased in 2020, but around 2019, the bottle started to change, all right? For those of you that don't know, because I had someone comment on one of my videos before, I don't know if it was on YouTube or Instagram, but I showed a four ounce bottle. This is what Creed fragrances used to look like. But he commented on my video and said, man, that must be a fake bottle because Creed bottles doesn't look like that. Well, yeah, prior to 2019, they were made and came in a four ounce bottle that looked like this, which is what most of my collection looks like, the four ounce bottles. So in 2019, they changed the bottles and the bottle started coming in a 3.3 ounce bottle that looked like this. And I want to say Creed Viking was the first fragrance from the brand that came out in this smaller bottle, all right, in a smaller bottle. So a lot of people had an issue with Creed at the time because, you know, they reduced the amount of fragrance that you were getting and they didn't change the price a whole lot. And you know that's not gonna really go over well with people when you give them less and don't really give them a discount on the price, okay? So a lot of people were upset with that. And then we started to hear rumbles from people that were purchasing the newer bottles that looked like this and we started hearing whispers that not only did they reduce the amount of fragrance that you're gonna get, but that it did not quite perform the same. Okay, so that now becomes a, a double issue, you know, for people. So anyway, we fast forward to the year of 2020 and Creed is purchased by Black Rock Inc. All right. I didn't, couldn't really confirm about the issues people have with performance and things of that nature because I really didn't have uh, any fragrances that had, or uh, that came in a 3.3 ounce bottle. Again, all of mine were the uh, four ounce variety for the most part outside of Viking, which I felt like was kind of on par with what I have been expect, come to expect from Creed. And recently I got this 3.3 ounce bottle of Creed Aventus because you guys know how much I still love this fragrance. And I was able to start to really make my own assessments about a lot of the things that I heard about the performance. So just to show you guys what we have here today, we have this one right here, one of my favorites, which is Silver Mountain Water, and the clone from Armoff, which is Club de Nui Siage. We have Millicene Imperial, and we have Milestone from Armoff, which is the clone of that. We have what is affectionately known as GIT, uh, Green Irish Tweed, and then we have Trey Nui from Armaf, which is the clone of that. And of course, we all know about Creed Aventus and Club de Nui Intense Man, all right, which is the clone of Aventus. So what I will say to you guys is this. First of all, when a company is purchased, I think they're, on, they're going to undergo some changes, sometimes very slight. All right. Now the change in the bottle size happened before they were actually purchased, at least to my knowledge, would have been made public knowledge. Uh, the bottles changed before they even made um, the sale of the company. Now, when you think about the type of change that was made, okay, they went from larger bottles to smaller bottles and didn't really reduce the price. To me, that was already a, a sign of things to come, of things to come as far as changing and maybe not potentially for the better, all right? Because it wasn't um, a change that was well received. Now, of course, if you had made a larger bottle and kept the prices the same or reduced the prices, people love that. But when you reduce the size of the bottles and give you less fragrance and you don't really change the price, people don't like that. Now, if you just compare the bottles that I have from Creed, the four ounce bottles to the Armagh fragrances, I told you guys before, me personally, because I, I do this and I'm so into fragrances, obviously I can tell some differences between, I can tell a difference between this bottle of Creed Aventus, what I smell with this, and Club de New Intense Man. I smell a difference, okay? It's not 100% um, accurate. I can smell a difference in the quality of the ingredients, et cetera, et cetera, but as I always tell you guys, 99% of the world doesn't know the difference between the two, and another 98% doesn't care. That 1% that does care is the hardcore fragrance <laughs> enthusiast. All right? So, you know, for most people, they don't really care because they rather save the money, get something that smells very similar, because at the end of the day, they just want to smell good. So that's just the first point of order. 
But when it comes to the hardcore fragrance enthusiasts, I kind of understand where people are coming from and having an issue with some of the changes that have been made with this company. Now, I will say this as well. This happens with a lot of companies. You know, if you don't get the first, the best batches to get are the first batches when a fragrance first comes out in most cases. That first or second batch um, of a particular fragrance is probably going to be the best because once, you know, fragrance guidelines and things of that nature, ingredients becomes harder to source and all these different things start to happen, then with most cases, not just with Creed, the quality of the fragrance seems to um, kind of tail or taper off a little bit. And that's with most brands. So that's not just a Creed thing, but I, does not, I do not think that it helps as far as the optics when the company gets sold, all right? Because immediately in most people's mind, obviously that signifies change. So even if it's not, if it's not true about performance and all these different issues that some people talk about with a fragrance brand, I think inevitably when it is sold, it kind of adds to um, the validity of what some people are saying because people kind of expect they change because a brand has been sold. So I would put my four ounce bottle of Creed fragrances up against any clone and I would still choose my four ounce bottle of Creed fragrances because again, my Aventus that I have right here, our Club Anywhere Intense Man is really great but it cannot hold a, a candle to the Creed Aventus that I have which is batch 17 N01, all right? But as it pertains to this new batch, all right? I don't even know what what is the batch number on this thing? This is a zero, what is this, A01A? I don't even know how to decipher the batches anymore. So I don't know when this was made, <laughs> okay? But I will tell you that when I compare these two, not even just to talk about our mop yet, but when I compare these two, this fragrance is definitely different from this. All right, and I know batches, people, you got a lot of people that's really into this stuff. They talk about batch variations of Aventus and stuff like that, but I think it's more than just batch variation. This is just not quite what this is. When I just put my, my nose to this from the itemizer, this is, this, this is just not, this is not quite what this used to be. And again, that's not just a Creed thing, I, in my opinion, but when you're such a popular brand, things are magnified, all right? Um, that particular batch of Aventus, I get seven and a half, eight hours of great performance. With this one, I got about five, five and a half hours. All right, so the performance is not what it used to be. And again, the fragrance overall is just not quite what it used to be. Now, comparatively speaking to most other fragrances, it's still dynamite. This is still one of my favorite fragrances in my entire collection. And I'm gonna rock the heck out of this new bottle because as you guys know, I'm trying to hold on to the, to the old one. But now it really, gives more credence to the argument with these if the, all the newer batches of, of, of creed are more closely to what i smell with this one it gives more credence to the argument of people preferring to go with the alternative fragrances the clones the inspired by fragrances especially the armoth brand versus the newer batches of fragrances from creed i will sincerely say comparatively speaking most of the fragrances i have from armoth that have cloned a Creed fragrance are in that 90 to 95% percentile as it pertains to capturing the essence of the DNA of the original fragrance. And I get really solid performance out of all of these fragrances. There's nothing here that from Armarp that I get less than six hours of performance. So performance is definitely acceptable. So then you start talking about the price. And of course, Creed fragrances around $350 to $400 for a 3.3 ounce bottle and Armarp for 30 bucks. I understand for most consumers, it's kind of a no-brainer. But at the end of the day, people do what they do and they like what they like. I'm not trying to sway you one way or the other. This is something that I wanted to talk about because when I saw that Creed was sold again, it got me to think. What are you guys' thoughts on what I talked about today? Are you rocking with Creed? Are you rocking with Armand? What are your thoughts? Sincerely, I want to have a conversation. I would love to hear from you down in the comment section. But that is all I have for you guys today. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate it. Now don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information 
or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.